Hey, what's up guys, it's Emmy from the ETA Reviews here, and Apple has just finished their live stream event, and they have announced the release of their new iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. They have also announced a new watch, which will also be released uh, soon, and this video is just going to outline all the things that they announced at their keynote. So firstly, let's start off with the iPhone. So Apple has released two models, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch screen and the Plus has a 5.5 inch screen. The iPhone 6 is a 6.9 millimeter thick phone and the Plus is a 7.1 millimeter thick. So this is a reduction of the thickness from the iPhone 5, 7.6 millimeter. So the phones include a new next gen retina display HD and each phone screen is sRGB accurate with a photo aligned IPS liquid crystal ion strengthened glass. With an, ultra, uh, with an ultra thin backlight. The, uh, the 4.7 inch phone sports a 1334 by 750 resolution and the 5.5 inch has a 1980 by 1080p display. So Apple have really tried to make the fingerprint reader used a lot more in the new phones. Combined with their NFC feature they've built in the phones, they, they've made it available in around October that they've released their own mobile payment system which will al allow you to use your iPhone as a method of payment in shops so, such as Subway, Toys R Us and many more. They allow you to take a picture of your credit card and verify it with your bank and so you, uh, this will come straight into your passbook and you can now use that as an NFC device and so any transaction can be paid for instantly. When these trans transactions are made, you do need to use the fingerprint reader so it knows that it is you that's making that transaction, which does increase the security on the phone. So another feature that which increases the security is also their dedicated encrypted chip, which uh, stores all the transactions on the phone and cannot be seen by anyone else but only by your phone. The camera is also the next update. Both phones include an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture. However, they have now included a new eyesight sensor with what Apple is calling Focus Pixel, which means that fo uh, autofocus will work twice as fast as before. However, the 6 includes a digital image stabilizer and the 6 Plus has an optical image stabilization. Now, this differentiates between the two phones, so you could think about that when choosing which one to buy. That's if you don't really buy both anyway. Panoramas can also be shot up to 43 megapixel and video is shot in 1080p at either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second with slow-mo shots uh, shot at 240 frames per second. The front facing camera is also a new sensor with the f2.2 aperture and also lets in 81% more light and they've included a new burst selfie feature which probably speaks for itself. So the internals on the phone will be an A8 processor which, a 64, uh, which is a 64 bit chip and includes 2 billion transistors, it's also 13% smaller than the A7 chip and is 20% faster and has 50% faster graphics. Both phones also include 1 gig RAM. Now the battery life isn't really much of an improvement from the 5S, so the 6 has a around 50 hours of audio, 11 hours of video time and 11 hours of Wi-Fi browsing and 10 hours using 3G and 4G. The 6 Plus has just a bit uh, better of a battery. It has 80 hours of talk time, 14 hours of video and 12 hours on 3G and 4G. There's also been new features added to iOS 8 which include things like double tapping the home button which makes the screen slide down so you can still use the phone with one hand. There's also an extra Wi-Fi calling feature. So the price of the phones will be £539 for the 16GB model, the £619 for the 64GB model and £699 for the 128GB model, that's for the iPhone 6. The 6 Plus will cost £619 for the 16 gig model, £699 for the 64 gig model and £789 for the 128 gig model. Now pre-orders are taken from September the 12th and shipping is from September the 19th and both models come in gold, silver and grey. So one thing that I, ha that I don't really like is that they they got rid of the 32 gig model which is forcing people basically to buy the 64 gig model so it's probably making Apple a lot more money that way. 
So another thing Apple announced is the Apple Watch. So this is available in two watch sizes and has stri six strap choices. It comes in a gold and silver option. The different types of straps are things like soft quilted leather, a supple leather strap with an actual clasp like a uh, classic watch, plus a stainless steel strap. The biggest problem Apple has overcome is the UI. Instead of using their pinch to zoom, they have integrated their own digital crown, which can be pressed in uh, if you want to go back to the home button, and it can also be scrolled to zoom in and out of the UI. Raising the watch will turn the screen on, and messages can be replied audibly. Uh, swiping up on the screen allows you to see more details on the watch, and if you swipe down, it brings you back to the home screen too. The screen is made from sapphire and also has NFC built in, so therefore we'll see less scratches on the watch. The screen can also detect force, which differentiates between a tap and a press. Now, notifications can be felt using their new Taptic engine, giving off subtle vibrations on your wrist. And features such as Siri is embedded in the watch, and maps can be enabled on the watch with different vibrations to turn left and right. The button under the crown displays a friends list where you can communicate with uh, the small sketches to one another or even uh, send your own heartbeat to uh, the recipient on the other side. So other features integrated by third party apps such as uh, made by BMW uh, have features such as showing where you parked your car. It also has fitness sensors included which track things like calories burned and steps taken. Uh, they have included their MagSafe style charger into the watch, which makes sure there are no open ports on the watch, making it more resistant to water, and so it's basically more usable in a lot more different environments. So they said that the watch is going to cost around $349, which converts to around £216 in the UK, but I expect it to cost a lot more, that, more, a lot more than that. Uh, it's compatible with the iPhone 5 and upwards, so there you go guys, basically that's the video of the Apple Keynote. Now if you have any opinions on uh, on anything that has been said in the video then please feel free to comment below. And uh, if you like the video just uh, drop a like down there for you. So there we go guys. Open on my phone and browse further. Now the other thing I can do is I can use voice. Okay Google.